Welcome back to Satisfactory, guys. We are out where we're going to be building our steel plant. Basically, what I, I want to build is I want to make uh, heavy and modular frames. Uh, let's see. Can I, can I build a machine so I can show you? Uh, I need heavy modular frames for that. Do we have any here? We have 10. Okay. So, I want to make heavy module frames out here, and uh, I want to make eight per minute of these in this factory. Uh, it's going to be quite a large factory because it's uh, we're not only going to be making those here, we're going to be making uh, steel beams, steel pipe and uh, whatever else is going into the heavy modular frames is going to be made here as well. So there is, is uh, quite a lot that's going to be made, but it's not going all going to be made in the same building. We're going to have a factory complex, uh, you could say. And uh, basically this building that I'm standing on now is going to be smelting. Uh, so we're going to have our foundries here and we're going to be using the uh, compacted steel ingot uh, recipe. So six iron ore and three compacted coal will be turned into uh, 37 and a half steel ingots per minute. And we have, uh, how many machines is it we have in here? One, two, three, five, six. So 12 in here, and you can see we have, uh, so I've started a little bit, right? Uh, but we have all of this uh, coming out here, and it'll go up there. Uh, and the inputs uh, I haven't set up yet. Uh, the same will be going on over here. Exact same thing. And uh, also up here. Same thing will be happening right up here. And, um, and in here... And then, whoops, and then uh, upstairs we'll have our normal smelters to smelt iron uh, and whatever else we need. So yeah, uh, this is going to be the entrance and we're going to have, uh, so like I said, a factory complex uh, all over this place. We'll have roads in between the different factories making the different things. We'll have uh, trains coming in uh, underneath down just over the the little uh, lake here will have uh, probably trucks coming in. Uh, that's my idea anyway, that we'll have trucks coming in with uh, compacted coal. That's why I have the, uh, the thing over there. We'll have, of course, some overflow stuff for uh, going into the awesome sink. Uh, all kinds of things. And maybe we'll have trucks coming in with... Um, with iron as well and copper uh, we'll certainly need limestone uh, so yeah uh, a big factory complex making all the steel stuff is is the thought that is the plan so uh, i'll continue working on this and uh, then i'll be back so this is what we're going to be producing in our facility here we are going to be producing 100 steel beams, 100 steel pipes, uh, 40 encased industrial beams, and 8 heavy modular frames per minute in this uh, steel production complex. And in order to build uh, those final products, uh, so the steel beams, steel pipes, and encased industrial beams are going to be extras over the uh, heavy modular frames. A heavy modular frame is the ultimate purpose of, of this uh, complex but I figured why not make some steel beams steel pipes and encased industrial beams as well for us to use for building so yeah and in order to do, make all that we are going to make need uh, two sulfur mines two coal mines three iron ore mines and four limestone mines and you can see that sulfur and coal we read around 560 a minute iron ore we need around 1360 a minute and limestone, we need 1,200 a minute. Now, we're going to need eight smelters to make uh, 240 iron ingots a minute. We are going to need uh, four, well, 50 uh, foundries to make 
1865.73 steel ingots a minute. We are only going to have uh, 48, so we're going to overclock uh, some of them. Then we need uh, a bunch of constructors to make uh, 8 iron plate constructors, 8.3 steel beam constructors, 4.8 screw machines, 45.7 pipe machines, and 26.7 uh, concrete machines. So they'll make uh, 160 iron plate a minute, uh, 124 steel beams a minute, 100 and, well, 1,245 screws a minute, 913, 14 steel pipes a minute, and 400 concrete a minute. And that will all come up here where we can see that we'll be making uh, 22.4 uh, compacted coal in our in the, the assemblers uh, one point well we'll we'll need two 22.4 compacted coal assemblers uh, 1.8 uh, reinforced iron plate assemblers 13.4 uh, modular frame assemblers and 20 industrial beam assemblers and uh, uh, that will produce uh, around 600 uh, compacted coal well 560 around uh, re 27 reinforced iron plates a minute 40 modular frames a minute and 8 80 uh, encased industrial beams a minute and that will turn into four modular frame manufacturers that will produce eight uh, modular frames a minute so that's what this build is all for and as you can see i have made some more progress uh, so if we go in here uh, we'll see that i have hooked all of these machines up and we have the output here and the inputs are coming in over there to make our um, uh, steel ingots and there are 12 machines in this room We'll have, we have the same over here, and we'll have it upstairs as well. Uh, 12 there, 12 there, and then over there we will have smelters. So if we just go up here. Uh, so over here we have smelters uh, for the uh, iron ingots. Okay. Uh, up top we have a uh, control room thingy and uh, I decided to make it like a half circle out here at the end so we can stand here and look out we have a bit of road here because we will be bringing in uh, the compacted pool and I think uh, some limestone by uh, truck and down here we are obviously going to have the trains as we already talked about i think and yeah back here we'll have power control so this control room will control the entire complex uh, is the plan anyway so we'll have more buildings this is just the smelter building right uh, and the main control room building and we'll control lights and power to all of the different uh, buildings from here so let's take a look at uh, what I built and I know that this is a little bit jarring uh, so we have a double door here we have our main building our smelter building it is pretty big i don't know about the color uh, i would really appreciate it if you guys would help with color or suggest uh, that i use a different type of wall or something um, it looks a little bit weird this wall i think maybe use concrete and and color it because uh, you can't do that but let me know what you think i should be using i do like the look of the concrete walls but i think i'd like them to be another color uh, than just uh, this uh, for the buildings so let me know what you think i decided to put in a little uh, garage here or something a parking spot and the same on the other side we have one over there as well 
And down below, we have uh, our access for our trucks. We're going to have the truck facilities here. So that is going to go down here. And yeah, uh, that obviously all needs to be built up. And uh, yeah, so our trucks will come this way. We are going to use right-hand drive because I am Danish. We don't drive on the wrong side of the road. And they're going to go this way. And I'll just show you the route that they'll take. Uh, we are going to need to pave some of it, I think. Uh, so they're going to come this way. And up this way. So a nice scenic route here. There's a place up here that's a little bit problematic uh, for the trucks, I think. Like right there, maybe. Uh, where I got stuck on a little uh, step. But maybe the trucks can handle that. But... Up here we need to do something, because they certainly can't handle this. So we need to do something about this somehow. Well, I don't want to fight you. Let's just keep running. And there's going to be four of the pig things up here somewhere. Yep, there they are. Uh, don't want to fight you. So we're coming up this way. Stop chasing me, pick things. And come down here across this bridge that I built. And over to this pole compacting uh, facility. So this is all going to be coal compacting. Uh, we will bring the sulfur in by truck here. Uh, so we have three stations. We have one for delivering sulfur, one for fuel deliveries up here, and one for um, uh, compacted coal uh, to be picked up. Now, the coal will be coming from over here. Uh, so we have one machine there, and we have one machine in here. So there's a compacted coal machine there. What's in this box? Oh, all right. Well, that doesn't need to be there. And so those two will be our coal delivery miners. They are on uh, pure nodes. Uh, so they'll get 240 a minute. So we need to overclock a little bit. Um, in here... We have our machines compacting our coal. Uh, so that is all set up nicely. Uh, I do need to put in some lights and stuff. I like these skylights though, on the slope, slope walls. I like the look of that. And uh, yeah, uh, so everything is coming up and going down. And I decided to put, instead of having each machine uh, going down, we need two rows, two outputs. One is not enough. So we'll, uh, we have two outputs here. And they are both going down stairs. And down here we have all our... Uh, uh, all our... Uh, belt work. Well, most of it, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, let's just... Oh, I can't jump over. Never mind. So, behind our... Uh, our truck stations... Well, first, uh, I decided to put this in, like, uh, like... Danger zone. Don't be in this area. And I put in these big pillars sticking out. I kind of look like the look of it. 
And the game just crashed, I think. Indeed it did. Alright, well, we're back, and it's daytime, so it's a little bit easier to see now, which is okay. Don't mind that at all. So there is the facility, and it's all its uh, daylight glory. I'm going to put some windows in somewhere, I'm not sure where yet. Uh, but, yeah, you can see a little bit better what's going on now that it's daytime. So, whoops, a little bit of lag. Uh, well, the game doesn't crash very often on me. Uh, I think it's the first time I've tried it, actually, so don't know what happened there. But behind our uh, truck stations, we have this little, um, well, maintenance area for the belts and also for power, I think. And if we just run out here a little bit, uh, you can see where... We are going to get our, um, our sulfur from. So it's going to be coming up over here somewhere. Did I miss it? I missed it. It's coming, going to be coming up right here. And down this way. Something's angry at us. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. It's a spitter Don't thing. say that the only remedy is alien yep. artifacts. Be quiet. So there is our sulfur production. Why does this sound like we're running on uh, foundations? All right, so we have uh, a sulfur miner there and a sulfur miner over here. Uh, they, of course, needs, need to be overclocked quite a bit because we need 560 a minute. Weird that it sounds like we're running on, on foundations. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Anyway. Uh, so that is basically uh, the build, uh, for now at least. Uh, we'll continue on uh, building this up. Uh, there's a lot more to do. Of course, we we mainly basically only set up uh, a little bit of smelting, and that's about it. So here uh, we come up to our facility. Uh, so yeah, but I kind of like the way this is uh, coming together. Uh, let me know what you think uh, down in the comments. It's always appreciated. And again, if you have suggestions for a color scheme, that would be greatly appreciated because I am colorblind. So it's not exactly my strong suit coming up with nice looking color schemes. Uh, I'm lucky if I put on the same color socks in the morning. So yeah, that would be very, very much appreciated. Oh, there's a blow up rock there. I wonder what's under there. But yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Uh, over on this side, we have our smelters over there. Over on this side, it'll be a big... Uh, maintenance room, uh, belt room. Uh, so uh, we can do some balancing and stuff because we, we do need to balance some of our things. And in here, where I have left a hole, uh, this little room here is going to be for getting our uh, tables up or all the power stuff. And then these two, uh, well, this area here, six by two area, is going to be for belts. There's going to be a glass wall here, I think, so that we can see all the belt work going on in here. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.